All right, now for some last questions, a little more specific, a little more detailed. Go ahead and open up Qualtrics and bring up the survey you were working on. I already have this pulled up, so now I'm going to make a new block. So I'm going to talk about a new topic. So for this one, I'm going to be talking about the difference between Mac and PC. So let's go ahead and start with a question to define what kind of computer you use. So for this one, this is talking about cars like we did before. We'll go ahead and change this. Now you can do a question like this with multiple choice, like above, you would just say something like, do you use a computer or a lap or a desktop or a laptop, desktop, laptop, or both? Is it a Mac PC, one or the other? You could do it like this. This is another way to do it. So to add these answers, you would have to go into an Excel document and create all the possible answers for the drop-down menu. For this, I'm not going to demonstrate it, but just to show you, this is how you can set it up. Mine is very simple, but you can get very complicated with it, just like the cars example. So let's go ahead and delete this, and we'll answer the question in a different way. using side-by-side. -side. Actually, side-by-side -side wouldn't be a good option for this. I'll go ahead and use multiple choice questions. You could also turn this into a multiple answer question and they can say desktop and laptop. So add a question below it. Again, you can use the multiple answers question to do both instead of doing it like this. And let's go ahead and turn this other one into a text entry. And they can go in this and select, oh, that the computer is five years old or seven years old or 10 years old. But getting into the more complicated questions, we can go here. And net promoter score is a question used to measure the likelihood that someone is going to recommend their question or recommend a product or service. Qualtrics already has this built in, so you can just go ahead and click that. And on a scale from 1 to 10, how likely are you to recommend? And this is already built in. 
you can do you can build a question exactly like this using the scales but if you want to do a net promoter score question this is easily available to you now you can do things like make these categories and here you could write the categories you want I only want two groups so we'll get rid of that and the items are could be things you want to describe your product and have people drag into there so let's make the the actual question and make some answers You can come up as many as you want. I'm just going to do a couple for demonstration. And during the actual exam, the actual survey, they'd be able to drag these into each one. And you'd be able to see how they worked out. So that is some of the basics in Qualtrics using most of the questions that you were likely to use in your actual survey. You can get into things like survey flow and how each question is arranged. But for the most part, you will build your surveys exactly how you want them presented. And if you need to add randomization or stuff like that, there's ways to do that and hopefully these videos help you get started using Qualtrics. Cheers.